healthy. Right, Charles D'Angelo? I don't know how much I agree with that. But. <laughs> In your quest to lose weight, you never know what might inspire you. For one young lady, it was her father who lost 150 pounds. So she made up her mind to lose the pounds that had been weighing her down. And here she is, Jessica Baldwin before. And let's take a nice look at Jessica now. Wow. Look at that. Look at Jessica. Woo. And look how happy she is. And she says she has never been this thin, uh, Charles. Did you think she was a good candidate the minute she walked through the door? I thought she would be an excellent candidate. She was motivated. She was really inspired by her father's transformation. And she, a lot like me, was overweight most of her childhood, all through grade school, up until her adolescence, and even through college. So right now, I think this is the lightest you've ever been, isn't it, Jessica? Yes. Um, even in middle school, I think I got up to a size 16. And college after college I was pushing 14 and now I'm size 8 so there you go there you yes. go <laughs> and you must have been a little worried about your dad when he is 150 pounds overweight now you've lost what 35 pounds or 40 yes pounds? okay 35. but 150 pounds that's significant you must have been a little concerned about his health right um you know and for a long time it was just the norm mm -hmm. and we were all kind of used to it and finally he got to the point where he was like I have to make this happen and it was a health issue for him and then as he was losing weight he was like you know you have to do this while you're young you can't ever get to this level you need to be happy and healthy with yourself and so that was a lot what kicked me in gear. Is that what really did it for you that you were afraid that this was the road you were on and here was your dad and this was something that could very well happen to you? Maybe, yeah, and maybe not as extreme, but even going through life and carrying an extra 40, 50 pounds when you don't have to, you know, when you can make those simple changes and really kick yourself into gear, I think that's what did it, you know, when I realized if he can do this, I can do this. That's amazing. How long have you kept it off? Um, well, I'm, I'm, this is relatively new for me. I started losing in December. Mm -hmm. okay. so. so it's just been three, four months. And but she, she did. still wants to lose a little bit more, in fact, I believe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here she is with the program. She, mm -hmm. she joined uh, Team Charles. Yeah. And um, she made up her mind to do it. She's young. It was easy for her to get those pounds off once she started going, I would imagine, because of her youth. It, it is, helps, don't you think? Well, I think the behaviors weren't as conditioned as maybe they were in her right. father's case right. or even in your case. I mean, the more you do something, the more frequently that it occurs the easier it is to fall back into those patterns. The key is, number one, to make a decision of what you want. And she came in and she decided, look, this isn't who I am. Like Alan Finnegan, the young man that we featured a couple weeks right. ago who lost like 150, he decided, I don't want to be this person anymore. He made the, deci the decision to change and he got leverage on himself, just like Jessica did, by looking at the future. And as Jessica just indicated, making small, simple changes, cutting out simple sugars. You know, we have talked about ex extensively about the familiar... Um, traits that are learned through family right. behavior, her dad being overweight and those being picked up by her, but she caught it at a young age and look at how inspiring her story is now. Well, I think her smile weighs about 2,000 pounds. She is very happy. <laughs> Congratulations to you. Okay. And do you think you'll ever go back? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance. Okay, well, Charles D'Angelo is our weight loss coach and you can find out more about him on our website and you can ask him any questions. We'll have some viewers' uh, mail bags in the next coming days. And uh, we'll also profile people who have lost weight in the near future as well. So, you know, give him a call and ask him any question you want.